Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar. So, I don't know what's going on. I got a pest infestation. We got bees everywhere. I don't know what they're doing in here. Who was it that had the breakdown over the bees in their house? I can't remember. Anyway, um, this is two Fabuland sets that I uh, recently purchased in a haul. I forgot that they were actually sets <laughs> when I did the haul. So I pieced a, I built them to make sure they were complete. But we got set 3791, which is this William War, War, War I can't say it. He's a walrus. I, that's, that's such a hard word for me to say. Walrus. walrus. He's a walrus. Anyway, um, yeah, William there. And he's got his little tri, tripod. No, not tripod. What do you call it? Trike. <laughs> not tripod. Tripod's what you put a camera on. Uh, he's got a little black saddle bag. His open container. Uh, umbrella and he's one of the odd looking fabuland figures in that he has no head i mean i mean he's got a head he has no um head headgear like no hat which is i mean there's a lot of fabuland in fact the other one over here doesn't but for some reason those ears on the pig and so they're set but he just william needs a hat i think i don't know and then uh, this other set is a small bakery <laughs> He's selling $2 pretzels and cake, and he has the blue cups and that pig. Uh, that's set $37.96, so we got two sets, $37.96, $37.91. Very exciting and not related to Animal Crossing. So I made little bags to put them in. I'll put those in these bags and put them away with my Fabulan. I already got them marked off my list. And if you're wondering, these are the sets on my list that I'm looking to get um, to finish off my collection of Fabuland sets, not counting the Blind Bag Fabuland series. But uh, the, yeah, those ones I got left. And so with the recent Fabuland purchases, all these parts, I got to go through and start working on my list of things that I'm missing. It's... Even though I just did an inventory, I'm already uh, getting out of whack here. But uh, should be able to piece together a few other sets when I got time. So I'm going to unbox this package from uh, Bricklink. This is my last Bricklink order. I mean, it's not my last one I'll ever buy. It's just the, I have no other ones out there. Everything's arrived, and I haven't placed any orders. So this is the last one that I was waiting on. We got... This is old gray, which is great. It's nine volt crossing. You never have enough nine volt crossings. Oh look, tipper truck wheels, tipper truck wheels. And we got some tipper truck parts and some Fabuland parts. So I got to separate those out. Uh, basically that's all there is. Oh, got more of these. I got plenty of these now. I shouldn't have to buy any more of those for a while. Uh, so we get the Fabuland parts out. Another wheelbarrow. Can never have never have enough red wheelbarrows. Another chair. <laughs> and everything else is tipper trucks. So I got one more thing here. Oh um, well. Alright, open the box. Look, Thomas Minis container. That's where trains are. Get this stuff out of here. Oh, can't get it out. For some reason I don't feel like that goes with this it's just the uh, that piece is just on there it's cut out from the spybotics box but that's a uh, this is clearly a lego education container and then we got another one here uh oh pieces are flying out 9630 paperwork oh i never even noticed this the bottom of the box was was coming off <laughs> All right, so I got that. Let's see what we got here. Get these loose pieces. Vintage gear. Oh, man. How many videos do I drop stuff on the floor? I just dropped a piece on the floor, and it went under the table. There's a dead bee on the floor. Okay. At least they're dying. So this is a Technic Lego education set. We got the motor. Who knows if it works? Got the battery box. Feels like it's oh goodness, it feels like it's got yeah, it's got battery in it. 
that kind of stinks. Is this one that you have to unscrew? Or is it one that pops out? Feels like it pops out. Oh, wait a minute. You got to do this thing. I haven't... It's been a while since I've messed with one of these. There we go. I don't even really care if these work. I bet you they don't. Oh yeah, it's corroded. It's all corroded. I see it now. I shouldn't even mess with trying it. Ugh, nasty. Do not attempt this at home. I need a screwdriver or something to get this stuff out. But it is very corroded. Never leave alkali or any kind of battery really in there. It's not safe probably to leave lithium ion batteries in and it's definitely not good for the metal to leave alkaline battery. And this had, oh man, I didn't even see this side, how bad it was. Ugh, it's all foamed up. So this will take, a, need a deep cleaning. Pour some Coca-Cola on it. <laughs> oh man, man, that one is wedged in there. I can't tell which side, it's so much corrosion. I can't, I'm having a hard time telling which side's the positive side. Ugh, nasty. Okay. Yeah, it is really not good to leave batteries in a battery box. Now I got the gunk. I shouldn't have done that on top of all this. Now the gunk's all over the pieces. Uh, it looks like an inventory <laughs> right there. So I got to find out more. Wait a minute, it felt like it was upside down. That's the right side up. Um, so I got to do an inventory myself and see how close it is, uh, but it should be, hopefully that actually be that set, set 9630, only 277 piece. Um, young Sniper Wolf, Jack's film. And we got um, this one, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's actually got the Spybotics disc in it. This is not the container. <laughs> For spybotics, it's just like it was in with all this. I need. Oh, I don't need. I. I, I probably should get a spybotic set. This D. Oh, it's also the 9630. Oh, some nasty stuff in there. Oh, this is filthy. Wait a minute. <gasps> what? What? Is it Lego? Is it Lego? Oh, I didn't know this was in here. So even though all this is, this is filthy. This box is ugh, filthy. But I did run into some nice, is it Lego things? Possibly missing the back of that NXT, but I uh, probably paid too much. I was hoping there were more pieces in here, mainly getting the containers <laughs> from this haul. So not a lot in pieces, but that is a pleasant surprise right there. I'm going to put that in the Is It Lego container. All right, so that's another haul. And when you know, nothing is on the way. And we're getting close to November, and Mardi Gras Man 2-3 is challenging Joey from Brick Trains and myself to a no buy November, but it's a one, maybe it's a one buy November, like you can only buy Lego in one day. And I'm filming this on October 25th. I don't know when it'll upload, but so I don't know. I don't, I'm so busy right now. I don't even know if I have time to buy anything in October, the rest of October. Uh, and I know November, there will probably be Black Friday things going on. Uh, but right now I haven't seen anything like that's, been leaked that I'm super excited about so it might work out and it might be something I need because I gotta buy I gotta buy a car <laughs> so my um I I I have been fortunate in that uh my first car I didn't get quite the 20 years I drove it 19 years and I forgot what happened to it it was having all kinds of issues um 
but I got over 300,000 miles on that car, a Mazda I had, and I wanted it to make it to 20 years, but it was just, it was going to be, it needed some more major repairs, and it wasn't worth uh, putting the money into it, so that car was sent away after 19 years, and then I've had, I replaced it with a similar make car, another Mazda, and I bought it used though, and so this car was a 2004, which means it was made in 2003, or probably sold in 2003, and we're in almost into 2024. We're in 2023. Well, it only has 210,000 miles, something like that. But um, the it has it needs a lot of work. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I, went, I was on call for like uh, for a week, and then I had been on vacation before, so I hadn't drove this car in like two and a half weeks. And it went to push the clutch in and it just slammed to the floor. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so the, all the fluid had leaked out from, and it's like, I wasn't even worried about the clutch because the clutch was doing fine. It's, it's probably a hose busted or the slave cylinder busted, but I had other work that needed to be done on the car. I wasn't thinking about the clutch. And so now with the other work that needs to be done and the clutch going out, I was like, that's, and the engine going out on my truck, my personal truck, I had now two of my cars are dead. So it leaves us in our family. We have one car right now. And I feel good though, because I, I drove two of my cars for almost 20 years. Well, the, the Mazda, I drove it for like 13 of its 20 years, the second one. And then the other one I drove for 19 years. So I think if you, this is, um, it's not, a, it's not, I guess, advice, but Yes, it is advice. Well, I heard years ago, it's like, if you buy a car new, try to drive it at least 10 years. <laughs> and so I've, I've done good. I've even, uh, so my, my truck that died, I drove, it's 17 years old. Still looks new though. It's, it makes me sick. So I'm going to have some guy come pick these up, get these things off my insurance because it's crazy how much the insurance is on a car, even when it doesn't run. <laughs> And we're going to be looking for new cars, so I may not be making it. And I said all that, and some of you probably don't care about all that, but I, I, I we got to look for cars, and we got to do it soon because there's, it's hard to find cars. So we've been spending. My wife and my son have been looking for cars, and now I help. I, I joined the fray today, and uh, <laughs> because when you got three people that need to be in three different places at once, it's hard to do it with one car. Uh, I guess that's why city life is so good. You can use the public transportation. So I'll be looking for a car. So if you don't see me real soon, uh, I'll be back. We're not ever going away. I, I'm 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 going to do this channel uh, f forever or until YouTube dies. So uh, which YouTube will die before I will? I hope. Snapper Wolf will kill it.